Good morning. This is a video on perhaps how to paragraph accurately. Some helpful tips to paragraph accurately. It's important to group your ideas. There are two main ways. Group by subject and group by time. So if we have a look at the text here. Pip Davenport was a hard worker at home and at school yet he had no friends. Every time his brothers and sisters, Jay, Enzi, Sophie and Andy, always got noticed and spoiled. So if we have a look at that bit, that's all about his family. And it continues uh, right along here until it gets to, it starts to talk about his school. Okay. Um, here we are, just down here. So this is where you would probably think, well, I'm going to paragraph by subject here because it's talking was talking about his family and now it's talking about his school. So after did there, I'm just going to create a gap. So I've got a nice little paragraph there. And then it continues to talk about his school here. But if you like, it does say that it separates for time. So if you can see at the top there, it says you can also group by time. So one option is to actually, which I'm going to do here, is I'm going to separate that into a different paragraph. Because I think he's going to quite a bit of detail. However, here's another bit of time. You can see one Friday night. So I'm going to paragraph there just because by time and it is actually talking about um, sport as well and you can usually tell by the, by the first sentence in the paragraph. Yeah, and there he was. It says he was upset for a while. It's still talking about um, how upset he was and then uh, it talks about someone else and... Perhaps there we needed, the writer might like to talk about when this happened. Um, oh, it says there just after a few years, well done. And that's probably it. So as you can see there, we've got five paragraphs. And that's how you paragraph.